For this example of the first matrix, we have a 4, 2, 4, 1, 4, and 0. This is going to have two rows by three columns. So that's why it's a 2 by 3. On the second one, we have negative 2, 3, negative 3, 4, 1, and negative 2. So we have three rows and we have two columns. Okay? Before we check if we're able to go ahead and multiply this matrix, we're going to go ahead and check here if this number is the same as this number. If the numbers are the same, that means that we can go ahead and multiply that matrix. So now, to find out what kind of matrix we're going to have is we're going to go get this first number and we're going to get the second number of the second matrix. Okay, So we have in this one and the first one, we have a 2 and we have a 2. So that means that in our final answer, it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and start and when we go ahead and start, we're going to go ahead and multiply this here times here we're going to go ahead and multiply that by this here to be able to get this corner right here of the number so we're going to go ahead and multiply 4 times negative 2 plus 2 times negative 3 plus 4 times 1 so it's going to go ahead and write, you don't have to write, I'm just going to go ahead and put a line here just so I won't be able to get confused on what side of it and then this is one side of this one corner you can say of the matrix and this is the other side of the matrix Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and do this, this numbers again multiplied by this row here and that right there is going to give us this corner right here so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing 4 times 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 4 times negative 2 okay okay now we're gonna go ahead and multiply this here by this right here to be able to get our answer here now we're gonna multiply this here times this to get your corner one so we're gonna go ahead and start with 1 times times negative 2 plus 4 times negative 3 plus then we have 0 times 1 okay so now we're going to go ahead and multiply this by the second here to get the answer for this corner okay so we're going to go ahead and multiply 1 times 3 plus 4 times 4 plus 0 times negative 2 okay so when you go ahead and multiply all that you should be getting here negative 10 you should be getting here negative 14 you should be getting 12 here when you add all these numbers subtract them then you should be getting 19 here and all you do is you go ahead and plug in these numbers here. And then you have 12 here. You have negative 14. And you have 19. So that would be your answer for this problem. In this example, we have negative 7, 3, 2 on this matrix. And this is a 3 by 1 matrix because we have 3 and there's only one column. And this one we have a 4. And then we have a negative 2. This is going to be a 1, because we only have 1 row, by 2 columns. Okay. So remember, the rule is we got to go ahead and look at the first, I'm sorry, look at the second number, the first problem. And we're going to look at the first number on the second matrix and see if they're the same. 
If they're the same, that means that we can go ahead and multiply. Then our next step is to see what kind of matrix is going to be. Okay, so we're going to look at the first number on the first matrix, which is 3. And we're going to look at the second number on the second matrix, which is 2. So at the end, we're going to have a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and multiply this here first times this number here. So that's going to go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and start. So we go ahead and say negative 7 times 4. So we're going to do negative 7 times 4. And then we're going to do 3 times 4. And then we're going to do 2 times 4. Okay. And then on the second, we're going to still use that one because we only have that. But we're now just going to multiply it by this number here, which is negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and do negative 7 times negative 2. And then we're going to have 3 times negative 2. And then we have 2 times negative 2. When you go ahead and multiply that, you should be getting negative 28, 14, 12, negative 6, 8, and negative 4. On this problem, on the first matrix, we have 6, 3, 1, 8, 2, and 9. And we have two rows by three columns. So that's why we have it 2 by 3. On the second one, we have 7, 8, 0, 3, 4, negative 2. So we have the same thing. We have two rows by three columns. Okay. It looks the same, so you would think you can go ahead and multiply. But we always got to check the rule, meaning that we got to check the first number here and the first number on the second matrix. Okay. The rule is that you have to have the numbers to be the same. In this case, we have a 3 and we have a 2. So that means that we cannot multiply this matrix. So when you can multiply this matrix, you just go ahead and write on the bottom undefined. And you cannot go and you cannot solve that problem. On this example, we have a 4 by 3 matrix by 3 by 2 matrix. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can go ahead and multiply this matrix. So we're going to go and check this number and this number. If there's numbers the same, that means that we're going to go ahead and able to multiply the matrix. Now to find out which, what type of matrix it is, we're going to circle the first number and the second number here. And that's what's going to be our final answer. It's going to be that we're going to have a 4 by 2 matrix. So we're going to go ahead and start first by multiplying this here by this here to be able to get one corner of the matrix. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 1 times 2 plus negative 1 times 5 plus 0 times 0 times 2. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to put a line here so we don't just get a mistake with this. It's one side of the matrix and one corner and this is going to be the other corner of the matrix. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. This numbers times this numbers right here. And then that's how we're going to go ahead and get this corner of the numbers. So we're going to do 1 times 0 plus negative 1 times 3 plus 0 times negative 5. And then you can go ahead and continue doing the problem on your own or pause it so you can see if you can do it on your own now or you can go ahead and just follow through. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply this here by this to get this number. We're going to multiply this here by this here to get this corner. Okay. So now we're going to go with 2 times 2. I'm going to do 
5 times 5 plus 3 times 2. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with these numbers 2, 5, 3 times the second number. So we do 2 times 0 plus 5 times 3 plus 3 times negative 5. Okay? Now we're going to, we're already on a third line. So we're going to multiply this times this to get a third one, and then this times this to get a third second corner. So we're going to go ahead and do negative 5 times 2, negative 5 times 2, plus 1 times 5, plus 4 times 2. Then we're going to go on the other side, use the same line, but we're going to go ahead and multiply by this. So we've got negative 5 and 0, plus 1 times 3, we do 4 times negative 5. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do the last one here, last line, same thing, but multiply by this. So get this here, and then we're going to multiply this final line with the last line here. So we're going to go with 0 times 2 plus negative 5 times 5. So negative 5 times 5 plus 1 times 2. And then on the other we're going to start again here but we're going to multiply this now to get this up here. We go 0 times 0 Then we go negative 5 times positive 3. Negative 5 times positive 3. Plus 1 times negative 5. Okay. When you go ahead and multiply all these numbers and add them, this is the answer that you're going to get here. It's going to be a negative 3. Here's going to be 35. Here's going to be 3, here's going to be negative 23, here's going to be negative 3, 0, negative 17, and negative 20. And you're going to go ahead and just input your numbers here. So you're going to put negative 3, 35, 3, negative 23, negative 3, 0, negative 17, and negative 20. So that's going to be your answer for this last problem on multiplying matrices. Okay, Go ahead, if you haven't subscribed, to subscribe and give it a like.